for now. They didn't sponsor you to take NCLEX? No, no. They, they didn't do anything, just for filing? Yes, just for filing and for lawyer fees. Lawyer fees, so 5,000. They threatened you. You must pay the whole money immediately. You can take me to court. That's mm-hmm. absolutely fine because the judge is going to say, how much can you afford, madam? And I'm going to say, I'll give you five pounds a month. Okay? <laughs> channel my name is jennifer if you're new here and you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back to watch my videos and as you all know lola has been here before if you haven't seen the video before this one please go and watch it i'll link it up here or i'll put the link in the description box below lola is planning to come back into the u.s but she wants to use an agency or she is using an agency at the moment but she started using one agency before our present or our current agency and then something transpired something went wrong so she'll be telling us everything today as she cancelled her contract with that agency so thank you for coming to my channel again you're welcome thank you for having me again <laughs> let's get started First of all, did you sponsor yourself to take the NCLEX? um i did back in 2010 that's when i did my NCLEX exam oh yeah. great great and fantastic I sponsored myself yeah Okay. Why did you decide to use an agency? Knowing that you're a USRN, you've been in the US before, yeah. and why did you decide to use an agency? Okay, so um, what, the first time I went to America, um, I went on a K-1 visa. So that was a fiancé visa. Um, and I got my green card through that. Now, when there's some stipulations, if, mm-hmm. for example, you leave um, the US and you don't return, um, because they give you, I I believe it's six months um, before you could, but I had some family issues, as I said, mentioned in the last video. So I didn't maintain or keep up my green card. And that was why I couldn't, um, I had to refile again, basically, and go through an agency. Um, But my initial, time like when i went to the u.s was through a k-1 visa yeah okay okay so i get so you need to use like an agency now now i need to use an agency yes Agency. Yes. okay mm. i understand now the first agency did you sign any contract with them i did yeah. three years three years oh. contract yeah. yeah three years contract okay yeah. what okay. was the content of the contract here yeah. right so you um signed a contract with them for three years Mm-hmm. Um, and in that contract, you have to work for them for three years. If you break your contract, you will be owing them money back. So <laughs> as soon as you've they've, you know, filed your paperwork and you've got your visa interview and you travel to America, you are now liable to pay them back if you break your contract. Okay. Yeah. So why did you terminate the contract? Why did you end your contract? If okay. they were helping you and everything. Right. So um, obviously we can't disclose the name of the agency. No. But with this particular agency, they had a, um, a system where if an, um, a nurse, they, they'll take any nurse on. Even if you haven't been on a ward, if you have not clinical experience, as long as you're registered RN, they will take you, yeah? But in my case now, I think I'd already mentioned to you, Jenny, that I'm an RN that works at home. I work from Mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. Um, I have done ward work before, but I'm actually um, home-based nurse. And most people will say, you're a nurse, how can you work from home? There are jobs out there. (laughs) Yeah, it's possible. It's possible, you don't have to be by bedside um, mm-hmm. you know but that's a story for another day but basically the contract um you know they made you feel like you could get a job in any state regardless yeah what i found out later was that there was some particular states that they just you know i would say that the states or hospitals that nobody wants to work (laughs) (laughs) their own nurses don't want to work there so that's why they are shipping international nurses Nurses. over 
yeah mm -hmm. and you have to also bear in mind that three years is a long time for you to be miserable in any establishment if their own nurses don't want to work there how are you going to manage that for three years hmm. you know so when i started finding finding out these things and then i did my research and found out that this particular agency had been sued by some other nurses wow yeah they'd been sued by some other nurses mm -hmm. and you know because of of when the nurses arrived in the particular hospital that they were assigned first of all they didn't work for about four or five or six weeks where they just sat at home doing nothing but the hospital agency was getting paid for that nurse so wow. the nurse was sat at home they were still getting paid and the nurse wasn't getting some of that money and then the next thing is that they shortchange you they take some of your money which you're not getting the full amount that you should be getting you're not you're not earning the same amount as an american nurse is earning take your money and then pay you what, whatever they want to pay you they weren't paying the nurses the salary yeah. the salary in the contract is right and they tell you how much your um, hourly rate will be right okay um, yes i think i think i can disclose the hourly rate to you. yes you can okay. yeah right so um the hourly rate was uh $32.90 right um but you later find out that the nurses that you're working with at the same hospital are probably are getting like $50 $55 and you're all doing the same work yeah it's very unfair isn't it yeah so when i found out all these things from the previous nurses that sued that particular agency mm -hmm. i was like uh -uh. and by this time i'd already been called up for my visa interview my e visa interview at, thank at, goodness yes i know i'd already got my visa interview i was ready to go um my visa interview was the 16th of august and i was supposed to attend my visa interview i did not attend my visa interview it was that bad it was that bad because i was not going to subject myself i mean guys i cannot stress enough to you you don't have to be desperate i know you want to come to america but do your research properly it's really important because three years contract to be getting paid 32 dollars while your colleagues and the people you're working with is getting like 50 something or 60 something dollars that's ridiculous you know so i didn't and because i terminated my contract they still wanted to charge me money so i would have paid had i taken a visa i would have paid thirty-five thousand to them back to them <laughs> i just want to make sure i'm following you wait mm -hmm. so you signed a contract with this agency yes and then one thing led to another you found that and they did your research and you noticed that mm -mm, you don't want to go with these agencies but then you already had your interview dates yeah. at the London Embassy, US yes. Embassy London. Yes. Yes. And it was scheduled for 16th or 15th of <laughs> August. Of so August. you did not go for the interview again because of what you found out. Yeah. So when you reach out to this agency, what did they say? Well, first of all, I got a threatening email. <laughs> <laughs> they threatened you. You must pay the whole money immediately um and i'm like well you know we, we're in recession how much is this well, money you're talking about well they calculated and broke down what they had paid out yeah? okay um they once they broke it all down um it turned out that which went according to my calculation it wasn't that amount they said there was filing fee of 2700 then they had to take something to some kind of panel to make sure the application was filled out right or a load of nonsense basically so everything calculated was like 5800 <laughs> my goodness for they didn't sponsor you to take in class no no they, they didn't do anything just for filing yes just for filing and for lawyer fees lawyer fees so five thousand seven hundred five thousand eight hundred mm -hmm. dollars mm. my goodness yes. look wow yeah. and when i said to, to them that well it's up to you you can take me to court 
that's absolutely fine because the judge is going to say how much can you afford madam and i'm going to say i'll give you five pounds a month okay and the judge will say okay if that's all you can afford you have a family to keep <laughs> Oh my and goodness. When they, when they said, okay, you can pay us back in installments. Goodness. So, this is another lesson, guys. Yeah. This is another lesson. First of all, she said, do your research very well. Yeah. If they send you to any hospital to go and work, it's left for you to do your research because this agency, like I said, and I always say that they are always to bring you into the US. We understand that you both sign a contract that's so and so time, bring me into the US, I work for you so and so time. But to some extent, you still need to do your research very well because three years is a long time, so you'll be miserable. And by the way, she mentioned another thing that if you now um, terminate your contract after the interview, or let's assume that you're not in the US, you terminate your contract, so it will be like 32,000. And in your case, they did not sponsor you to take the NCLEX, you're already a US RN, so you can imagine somebody that is sponsored to take the NCLEX that means it to be up to like maybe $50,000. It probably so, yeah, yeah yeah so they want you to pay immediately where did they expect you to get fifty thousand dollars from or thirty two thousand dollars from yeah. so and you didn't even attend the interview they asked you to pay five thousand eight hundred dollars <laughs> yeah so guys that's another lesson you can call them if you still need to terminate your contract you can tell them that you want to pay on instrument if they want to take you to call don't be scared don't be They'll scared. Take it Never be scared. Because wow. they use all these legal jargons to, to frighten you. Don't be scared. Um, at the end of the day, you have not arrived in America. You know, if you want to terminate your contract, terminate your contract. And, and in my opinion, you are better off with direct hire. Yeah. I was about asking you that if this agency mm -hmm. was a direct hire, okay. Direct hire. So you the one you any now. agency that's a middleman. If you have a middleman, it's likely they are cheating you from your money. Okay. So now, this your new agency you're working. You're still working with an agency, right? Yes. Yeah, so my new, the new um, one that's taking me to Florida is a direct hire, oh. and it's only two years contract. Okay, so the contract you signed, is it with the agency itself or with the hospital you're working? The hospital. So it means that so, the hospital will be paying you directly, not the agency? Absolutely. That's the best way because they now have to take into calculation my 15 years of nursing and pay me according to my 15 years. Yeah, unlike, that's what they do, yes. yeah, yeah, unlike the other agency who just pay a standard regardless of you could be 50 years in nursing, they would just pay you like somebody that's newly qualified. Yeah, mm. these people have to take that into consideration and pay me at the level of another nurse that's a USRN born and works in their company the same amount if we've got the same 15 years of nursing so you don't now go to your workplace and you start asking people oh, how much are you getting paid and they're telling you that they're getting paid more than you it doesn't work that way when it's a direct hire so you will be any from the hospital and of course you'll be getting all the overtime pay the differential it's payments exactly and everything yeah 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 which is a good thing my goodness so now uh, where are you with this agency so i just started paying this stuff mentally <laughs> <laughs> what i've asked them to do was send their account number and i said well whenever i get a little extra money maybe i'll put 10 pounds in there when i'm ready mm. <laughs> <laughs> i'll put 10 pounds here and there until i've I, I i can finish paying it off from now till 20 years i don't care <laughs> because I am not going to get any, have anyone intimidate me or make me feel scared. And that's what they do. They, they, they feel like, okay, we're getting these people from Africa or India or Philippines. And they make you feel like you're indebted to them. And they actually frighten some people. I just want to put it out to nurses out there. Do not be frightened by these agencies. They can't do nothing to you. As long as that you've been known to seeing that you're paying that money back, there's nothing they can do to you. Thankfully, you were able to, to let them know where you stand, that you will pay instrumentally. I like the fact that you told them, I will pay. And the reason why you're even paying is because you signed a contract. Guys, that reminds me again, and I always say it again, Lola has said it, check your contract very well before you sign you know that contract is long so people will just sign and then they will not read 
read it very well because after you sign that contract those agencies that used to pet you oh are you okay have you taken your ankles so this and that. Mm-hmm. after you sign they will turn to something else and then you start saying their true colors you remember they're making a, a, a hell of a lot of money of course of day. course if you was to go and do travel nursing think about the kind of money that you're getting a week if you see the kind of money and jenny mm-hmm. showed you a breakdown of mm-hmm. the kind of money that nurses were getting a week for travel nursing these people, that's what they're getting paid. And they're giving you $32, $30. I think someone sent me um, a message on Instagram just asking for my advice. And she was like, um, an agency is offering her $25. Ah. I was like, which state? <laughs> which state? She said, New York. I was like, New York. First of all, New York is an expensive state. What are you going to survive with $25? $25. She signed the contract, but... I had that time, they've not done anything for her. So I told her, run, 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 <laughs> run. 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 because I don't blame people signing contracts without having this information because, and this is the reason why I started my channel. I didn't get any information about these, you know, agencies and all that before coming to the US. But now I'm in the US, I've seen that, hmm, I know how much nurses earn in so and so states. I know how much this and that. So you cannot come to tell me you want to pay me $16. How much is CNA is any or UAPs? How much are they any? And you're paying me after taking the class. So yeah. anyway, if we go on and on and on <laughs> to talk about this agency, guys, we will not finish this video. It's very important. Listen to what Jenny's telling you. You must check your contract. You must read properly because these people, once you get to America, you will be miserable to sign three-year contract and to be getting paid money that you can't even afford to pay your rent or eat $25 in New York. That's terrible. That's terrible. Very, mm. very terrible. Mm. But anyway, guys, I, I'm so happy that you were able to see this before um, you came into the US. And mm. this is a good thing that you weren't desperate. If you were desperate, you'd have taken the contract and then you come into the US, you see that the reverse is the case. What you're seeing is not what you expected. So I'm so happy that now we are in a better place with a better a direct IR agency. Yes, direct agency IR. to some extent. Mm. Yeah, I'm so happy and I wish you the best of luck and I can't wait for you to come into the US. Yeah, yeah. I mean yeah. actually they've just they've done the refiling again. So wow. Really cool. Wow. Yeah, Somebody yeah. I'll come to the airport with the flag, US flag. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be thank you. Okay. <laughs> thank you so much for coming to my channel. No worries, Guys, no worries. Please do not forget to subscribe to our various channel. Lola has a channel and I'll put Lola's link in the description box. You need to know, especially those that want to go to um, Florida. He's going to be telling you guys everything, the lifestyle blog, everything, right? Everything. Yeah, everything. Mm-hmm. She will share information about that and just subscribe to our channel. Yeah. Subscribe. That's all I can say. I'll see you in my next video. Lola, thank you for coming again. You're and welcome, Jenny. <laughs> have a blessed day and have a good one, guys. Bye. Okay, bye.